if you wanted this to feel like it was night, all we need to do is come to here. So when we go here, I'm going to turn off the overlay so that we can see it a little better. And then we're going to change this one. So let's make this one day. And then we can pull. So I think the best way to do this would be let's do this like that. Let me find a time that's something like this. I kind of want more reflections on the glass. I'm not getting them. I think it's my overhang that's not letting me get reflections. But anyway, that's the angle. So that's what you would see. So then when we come into here, I have a feeling it won't remember the time of day if I do this, but now it will. So you can come inside, and then this is where you want to start adding lights. So to add a light, we can do. There's a couple ways you can do it. Most of them will live here under the Enscape objects, and then there's sphere lights, there's spotlights. These used to be like the uh, only ones you had. Now they've added line, rectangle, and discs, which are basically just different types of lights. But you can get away with using um, any of these, really. Um, some of them have different effects than the other ones. Like a sphere, once you bring it in and place it, so then it lets you like or orient it, and then you place it, and then see now what it's doing. So if I go back to match... So I have it selected. So then you get all these options here once you've picked it. And so you can turn it down, turn it up. You can adjust the radius or like how the influence is or how sharp it gets. And then if we go to our scene, we should be able to see this. Should remember my time of day, but didn't. Oh, it's because I didn't change it in SketchUp. So let's go down. Something like later at night. Something like that's kind of cool. And then you can adjust in here, see like what's happening in there? So that's with just one light. And then if you adjust the size of it, you can get it so that it goes out farther. And so you'll see that by default, so let me update this. And you can do this, which is kind of cool, like just for your workflow. When you're doing stuff like this, you can get one that's, um, you can create a scene that's like for working. So you don't have to keep going inside your model. So here, that will let me pick it. For some reason I can't grab it. There we go. That was really weird. Um, so we have this guy, and then if you apply like a color to this, you can actually tint it. So let's look at that. So when you do this, you don't want to go with like a crazy bright one, but See how that tinted the color? And then now if we edit this, you can get like all sorts of different colors on here. So what I typically like to do is a little bit of yellow, but then it actually looks like normal light. It doesn't look like these super bright white like LED lighting. If you go nuts with it, it looks like the whole room is that color. So don't go like, a little bit goes a long way. And then let's say we make a few of these. So we can increase the size, the intensity. We can make a copy. You, you can copy them just like you do normal stuff in SketchUp. You just move it, copy it, let's say three times. And then let's go back to our scene and look at it. And so see, now you can see it's definitely lighting up the interior. 
and then let's say that looks really good and then we want up lighting on this like marble feature because Frank has marble on the exterior of his shack um, so we can use the spotlight for that and then spotlight will kind of cast like a like it would like when you normally see like the scalloping effect on like a wall that's the one the spotlight will do if you use a line that's like a thin little tube so those are really good for like cove lights and stuff and then the rectangular one is good for just like flooding an area with just light because it's more directional than the little sphere and then um, but if you're ever going to do an interior rendering where you see the lighting you want to make sure you're actually putting the light sources like if it was this room I would put them in like just below all these lights and have them shining down because that will always look better than if you just start putting random orb lights just like floating around and especially if they don't line up because you'll always be able to create lighting but it doesn't ever actually look real unless there's a source where it should be coming from so that's one thing to keep in mind the more artificial little objects you add the weirder it gets so here I'm gonna go over here now and create a spotlight and click like around here and then come up to like maybe there and then I want it to shine upwards something like that so let's see how that looks so as you adjust the intensity you'll start to see it there you go so now we have it there and then the angle is basically how wide or how shallow it is and you can still move it even though we placed it there you can move it like down and it will update in the model and I'm pretty sure if we paint it with that material see there the color changed so then we can go we go back to oops scene 7 and here we can adjust those settings so it'll be more or less intense wider angle narrower angle so I think I want something like that and then since I can see it here I'm gonna edit this and maybe give it more yellow or darker color so that it's more tinted so it's not going to ever look exactly like that when you're using Enscape, but it, it gives it better than what it looked like before. So now that we have that, let's render that one. And then let me see actually if we make it even darker. Because the darker you make it, oops, I'm going the wrong way, the more your interior will shine, see? And if we let go, it'll update in a little bit. So then once you see that, then you could be like, whoa, like, that's way too much. Because now you want it to kind of glow from the inside, but we don't want it being, like, so insane where it's like you can't even see anything. So we can do this. We can grab the other lights. And then the cool thing is, I think it names these. So if you use the outliner, see like it's got these different lights in there so we have the spotlight and then these point lights so I can select all these and I'm holding um, that grabs the other ones so then I guess you can't change all of them at once so we can pull those down oh they're all components so it doesn't matter you only need one of them and then this will be the intensity of the rest of the light so we can tweak that to be the way we like it and if you wanted to you could put a person here but for now I'm just going to do super basic so we have that cool looking sky this and then now we can render that and call this some close up render night And so since we have that one already, that's going to make our lives a lot easier because we can go file, open, and we could just place them in here. 